you've seen our next comic on Showtime at the Apollo and HBO Snaps, please welcome Rich Voss. How you doing? How we doing tonight, folks? Yeah. All right. Good. Well, we got some sisters over there. How you doing? Checking me out, huh? <laughs> Remember, once you go white, you go right back to black. <laughs> <laughs> My sister used to go out with a black guy. I said, what's up with that? She said, once you go black, you never go back. I go, that's because our family won't let you in. <laughs> Loosen up. White people are too uptight, man. We need to riot. I'm telling you. <laughs> White people need to riot. We don't know how to riot, though. We steal lumber. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, look at all this plywood I got. <laughs> Any Spanish people here? Good. Uh, <laughs> I don't mess with Spanish people. You ever see a Spanish drive-by? Get the car closer so I could cut them. <laughs> Loosen up, folks. <laughs> I saw Nancy Carrigan again on the news today. She's a pretty lady. Man, she got some big teeth, though. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> she got some big teeth. She looks like she got baby shoes in her mouth. <laughs> I'm telling you. Even Dionne Warwick's going, man, you got big teeth. <laughs> I'm telling you, if I ever have a corn on the cob eating contest, <laughs> Nancy Carrigan is my first pick. <laughs> You want to have sex with Nancy Kerrigan? Just tell her you got carrots in the car. <laughs> Where are they at? <laughs> so, folks, I just got separated. She left me, man. Five years, it's over. Seven, yeah, hey, I tried to save my marriage, too. I went to counseling for six months, which was great, because I spent $100 to have two females call me a loser. <laughs> See, I got these weird fantasies. That's my problem. Anybody else? Yeah. Where are you at, babe? <laughs> this lady right here with the black hair. Okay, what's your name? Oh, Antoinette. Antoinette. Okay, I'm gonna use you in my fantasy, all right, Antoinette? <laughs> Here's my new fantasy that Antoinette and I, we check into a beautiful hotel. We go to sleep. We get up in the morning, we order room service. I go to take a shower. I come out of the shower. She's having sex with a guy from room service. <laughs> I'm like excited as hell because I'm thinking free food. <laughs> so you like Clinton? Yeah. Psh, what a hump. <laughs> Clinton's new crime bill. Midnight basketball. That's it. Keep the kids off the street at midnight. Let them play basketball. Do you think when these kids are filming their nine millimeters and their Glocks ready to do a drive-by, they're going, do we have a game tonight? <laughs> Is it playoff week? <laughs> See, in this country, I love this country, but there's some crazy things in this country. And the Klan, the hell with the Klan. They're the biggest punks, the Ku Klux Klan. How come they never march in Harlem or Detroit or Chicago, right? They always march in Goobersville, Ozark, all right? Uh, you know what? I'll tell you to put an end to the Klan. You just stop selling white sheets, right? <laughs> Oh, this will look tough. Here comes the Grand Wizard in a Bill Blass floral pattern, okay? <laughs> you know. See, there's a couple things wrong. One of the things wrong with this country is too many races and religions live in the past. The past is over. Let it go, man. You know, 100, 200, 1,000 years ago. Remember your history, but let it go. There's nothing you could do about it. Worry about the future. 10, 20, 30 years now for the kids, okay? Right, I'm a Jew. The Jews, always, the Jews always bring up the past. Well, we were slaves in Egypt. Hey, look how many people are out of work now. Be happy you had a job, okay? <laughs> right? Black people say we were brought over here on boats. Do you know what a cruise from Africa costs now? <laughs> Ja Japanese people, we dropped a bomb on them. Hey, do we cure you of your monster problems, huh? <laughs> and another thing wrong with this country, anybody can have a child. Anybody can have a child. There is no registration, no uh, background check, you don't need a license, no aptitude test. 
anybody can have a child, okay? You could be in a hospital for two years on Thorazine, Haldol, come out the next day, boom, have a child, right? Be a crack addict, heroin addict, bank robber, have a child, nothing. No registration, no license, nothing. Do you know to put a worm on a hook and throw it in the water, you need a license? <laughs> What's wrong with this picture, folks, huh? I gotta get a better punchline for that joke. Anyhow, I mean, there's a point there. I just need a better punchline. <laughs> and if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. I am uh, part of the solution. I just celebrated eight years and eight months without a drug or a drink in my body, sober by the grace of God. <laughs> Clean and serene. That's all I could say. They are, you know, they're trying to compare cholesterol to drugs right now. <laughs> They're saying cholesterol is as deadly as drugs. You always see guys on the street corner going, yo, man, got that butter. <laughs> <laughs> no, you saw me margarine yesterday. <laughs> see, I was out of my mind, out of my mind. I'll tell you a story before I get out of here. It's my past, so, you know, I don't worry about it because now I am clean today, right? But my past, I gotta remember, keep my memory green. One night I'm over at my mother's house because I lived there because I had no money. Uh, I was a drug addict. And uh, I'm doing all kinds of stuff, right? All kinds of drugs, alcohol. My heart is pumping like this. My eyes are popping out of my head. I'm grinding my teeth. I'm doing laps around the apartment. So I decided that I was gonna go to sleep. And uh, <laughs> like I had a chance. So I get undressed. I'm standing there completely naked, right? And I like hallucinate and see a rat run by. So I go, well, I gotta catch this thing or else it'll crawl on me when I'm sleeping, right? <laughs> so I know rats like to eat peanut butter because I saw a documentary on the uh, movie Willard. And uh, <laughs> so what I did, I took 10 plates of peanut butter and I placed them all around the house, all right? So I'm sitting naked on the couch, eyes popping out of my head, a hammer in one hand and a butterfly net in the other. <laughs> and my mother walks in <laughs> and she looks at me and says, rats? It's gonna hit you when you're driving home, folks. <laughs> Before I leave, I wanna say, I drank and I got high for 13 long, hard, miserable years, and they were not fun. There was no high on earth compared to the high I get is when I hold my little daughters in my arms and I give them a kiss. Good night, thank you. <laughs> An evening at the Improv returns with more great stand-up comedy right after this. Great fun. We're going to bring you more mirth and merriment right after this.